Hey, welcome back. I'm John Stark from ActiveMovieGuy.com, and this is my review slash recap of The Handmaid's Tale, Season 5, Episode 9. I'm a blind film critic, but uh, luckily Hulu provides audio description for this, so that's why I get to talk about it. Anywho, so this was the episode that, uh, I mean, first of all, it's the penultimate of the season. It's not actually the final. So, did I think Hannah was going to be rescued? No. No, I did not. Because then June loses all motivation to do anything in the final season. <laughs> you know, if, her, if she gets her family reunited, then once the, you know, they have to create another uh, catalyst for her to be angry headed into the final season, and so that was, that was never going to happen, but I mean, it was a nice thought. Um, so that was, that happened. Um, I do love how she shut down Lawrence. Uh, she was so angry and pissed. He just doesn't understand. Like, he's, I mean, I get, I get that he thinks, like, from inside his head, like, he wants to change the system, but he can't just radically change all of it, and it's like, yeah, you could have given her Hannah. You didn't need to blow up the planes, you know, like, you, maybe this one thing could have happened. I don't know. It was just, it was very, he wants her in New Bethlehem because it benefits him. So, uh, you're taking a character that was borderline likable and making him less likable. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do with him in the final season, because I see that they've been trying to redeem some of these Gilead characters. And, uh, he was one of them, and so was Nick. And so is Aunt Lydia, and so is Serena, and I'm actually getting really interested to see what they do with them in the final season. And I guess uh, sort of the final elephant in the room is uh, Serena, peaced out with her kid. Um, she's got to get out of Canada fast, because technically she doesn't have parental rights for that kid, and she's also an illegal immigrant. So if Canada catches her, she's just going to, you know... Uh, be arrested for kidnapping. So, even though she's technically that kid's parents, they they took it away. So, she's got to get to Gilead. Sadly, she's got to try to work some sort of deal with Lawrence, where she maybe she can become the face of New Bethlehem, um, and and go over there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens to her. Maybe she can go to America. I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen to Serena. Nor do I really care because she created her own situation. I don't think the baby deserves to go through all this. But then again, I also don't think the baby deserves to end up with the uh, parents from hell. I mean, that Alanis or whatever her name is, is she's crazy. I said it immediately. When she, when that woman appeared on the screen, go back to my, like, last interview. And when Serena walked up on the house, I was like, okay, so Serena went to stay with this lady who is a bit much. Um, and I stand by that. That lady is a bit much. <laughs> so, um, I wouldn't put a kid with her either. So I don't know where Noah needs to go, but he needs to go somewhere. And if Serena has to help him for a little while to get there, cool. Um, but I would like, you know, I, I always root for babies. It's never their fault. You know what I'm saying? Like that baby didn't do anything wrong. Find it a nice home. That nice home is definitely not where it was. And it's probably not with Serena unless Serena makes some major life choices, <laughs> uh, next season that turn her around to where, uh, she has her own self reckoning where she comes to terms with all of the problems that she created Anyway, I thought it was a really good episode, so I hope you guys liked it too. Uh, I have no problems with this episode. It's been a pretty solid season. There was one episode I didn't like. I didn't quite get it, um, but pretty much everything else I liked. So uh, I thought it was cool that Bradley Whitford directed the episode too. So props to Bradley Whitford on that. He did a good job directing. So uh, the ending, of course, was a shocking moment, but uh, I guess we'll see that resolved in the season finale. So that's it for me, and uh, it's time for me to give this thing a grade, right? That's what I do. So I'm going to give The Handmaid's Tale Season 5, Episode 9, an A. Thanks for staying with me on these recaps, and uh, if you 
like me, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 this year. That'd be great. I would love it so much. Heart emoji, heart emoji. <laughs> um, and uh, I do have a website, MacMovieGuy.com, which you can check out whenever you want. Um, you can go to the audio description project, adp.acb.org. It'll let you know what has audio description and where you can watch it. And you can go to the adna.org. That's the adna.org. And it will let you know uh, who's narrating your favorite TV shows. So that's my quick little thoughts and recap on The Handmaid's Tale. I didn't recap everything. Like Lawrence proposed to, yeah, he did the same, you know, he knows he needs a wife. It's the, who, who cares? I don't think that's, that's not a real character that he married. <laughs> so, um, if they make her a real character and she actually does something, then I'll care. But I, it was just, I don't know. I didn't even think twice about it. So I didn't bring it up in the recap. I was like, oh, well, that was going to always happen. He was going to need that at some point. Um, but yeah, so uh, anyway, I have to review something else for you guys, but I will see you on the other side.